Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. Welcome to our channel. This is a Dollar Tree haul for you all. I do have some dollar plus items in this video um, and I will share with you when I get to them. But first we're gonna start with our dollar 25 items. I know Dollar Tree needs to be now dollar 25 tree. It is what it is. We've gotten, we have got to purchase items for a dollar for a very long time, some amazing items for a dollar. So I personally don't have an issue with the dollar 25. I know some people do, I don't. I also don't have a problem with the dollar plus section that sells items for $3 and $5. I'm okay with that as well. Anyway, let's get started. Dollar 25 items first. They had some new canvas prints out. They brought out the high heel shoes with the stack of books. And then they also brought out the perfume bottle. Now again, these are just the stretch canvas prints on the wood. If you don't have a use for them to hang on the wall, you can actually take them off of the wood that they're mounted on very easily. You can trim them and you can use these in junk journals. You can change out and use these for your own personalized planner covers. There is a lot of things that you can do with these besides just having prints up on your wall if that is not what you're interested in. A lot of people do not have wall space to hang these, so I'm giving you another way that you could use them. So there's that. Next up in home decor, I found these like ladder signs. They're calling them wall decor. They are from Special Moments. This first one that says love, L-O-V-E, with the little greenery. And this is like a gray color with white lettering. This is the natural wood color with the black lettering and it is home, H-O-M-E, home, with the greenery. I'll bring them up close so you can see them. Cute for $1.25, right? All right, so there are those. I forgot to say that we were taping. So there's that. Now, on these next two items, I got three of each. One for my house, one for my youngest house, and one for Wildfire's house. And I did try, or pick, I did pick up both. The one that they're selling in the garden section, and the one that they're selling in the home cleaning supply area. Because I wanted to see, I'm going to try both of them to see which one works better. Isn't it better? But these are these tool holders, tool, tool holders. Now... The one that's from the garden section says that it's a garden tool hanger, which garden tools are pretty heavy. So here are your two grippers right here. And then you also have the hook in the middle. And then on the home one, this is for like mop and brooms. So you've got your two holders and then you've got your hook in the middle. But I heard, I don't know for myself, but I heard that these work better than the kind that you would buy like on Amazon and stuff like that. And for less money, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. But again, I'm going to test it out. And I got, like I said, a set for me, a set for my youngest, and a set for Wildfire. So there's that. If you're interested, come back. I'll let you know my thoughts on those. Do they hold up? I do know that once you put it onto the surface that you're going to put it on, you have to let it cure for 24 hours or 48 hours and then start hanging things on it. If you hang something 30 minutes after you put it on the wall, it's just gonna fall off because it has not, the adhesive has not made its grip. So that's something I learned with the small indoor hooks. Let's keep that in mind. Next, I found some cute little magnets. I love when they use sarcastic little sayings on magnets or anything for that matter. So this first one is an apron is just a cape on backwards. And it's, so it's like a shape of a little apron then there's this one, always be grateful, but it is a cheese grater in the shape of a cheese grater. Always be grateful. When life gives you lemons, just put them in your sweet tea. You guys know I love sweet tea. This is a mason jar. I do not, however, like lemon in my tea at all. Funny, I love lemonade, but I will not drink tea if it has lemon in it. I will spit it out. I do not like, I'm talking to Wildfire, guys. She's here. Say hello, I Wildfire. I like green eggs and ham. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not, Sam, I am. I do not. This last one, keep your sunny side up. Sunny side. Sunny side. Sunny side. 
You know where this is going, right? Sony yeah. Sword! Then let's go to the craft department. Um, they had the embroidery needle bundle. It's got your elastic band. They had lots of patterns to choose from. Which was the most popular one? This one. Why? When I bought this one, there was one left. But in all the other fabric designs that they had in patterns, they had a crap ton of them. So there's that. If you're in need, if you're interested, I only got the one. And I actually got this not so much for the embroidery needle bundle. I actually got this so that as you're sewing, you can put your pins and your needles. And then you can just have it on your wrist so you don't lose. Then they brought out from the Crafter's Square, they brought out some new um, pieces of fabric. Some people call them fat quarters, quarters, whatever. So they had dog themed, cat themed. So they have this red with like the paw prints. Then they have the black with the bones. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Then they had this little puppy. Oh, that one looks like Ruffles wearing glasses. Ruffles. They have the doggy one. Then they have the kitty cat one. And these kitty cats are so stinking cute. That I actually picked up two of those. And then they have these kitty cats also. You can't see. There's the kitty cat right there. But this one says like kitty fun and kitty kitty fool there's like words on it so those are the only ones that i picked up from the fabric fabric yes fabric beauty section i only found this one i was trying to find one so that i could put in each one of my girls easter baskets but i only found one so somebody beat me to the punch i don't know these are from color mates and they're lollipop lashes in bold look how pretty those are they they are really nice so only one will be getting it in their basket and besides there's only one that wears false eyelashes and that's you right wildfire yes my oldest and my youngest they don't wear falsies so it works out perfect next i found these and i thought well one will get that and the other two will get these in their easter basket these are the five-piece sponge popsicles. So it's almost like one of those push-up pops. The five sponges and this is like pinks. And then this one's like the blues and teals. Neapolitan ice cream push-ups. But it's really brushes. I mean, uh, sponges for the makeup. So there's that in the beauty aisle if you're interested. Then they had these new, new, new. I don't, I think these may be trial size. Maybe they're full size. I don't know. I've never seen them before, to be honest with you. Both of these are aluminum-free deodorants. Aluminum-free. The first one is Dove. It's an original clean. It's 1.7 fluid ounce. And so is the Dove Men Care Clean Comfort. But both of them are aluminum-free deodorants. Now, I've seen some other people finding, like, six eight ten dollar deodorants um for a dollar i did not see any of that at any of mine you just unscrew the top and there is your deodorant roller ball it's just a roller ball that you're going to roll and then you start it starts putting out the deodorant so those are out there if you're interested and if you're in need of aluminum free which we all should be aluminum free there are those then these are not Greenbrier Dollar Tree products. These are from a company called Four Star Group. Of course, it's made in China because everything's made in China, except for myself and my kids. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a blemish extract. It, it removes whiteheads, blackheads, for all skin types, stainless steel. That's what it looks like. Now, Sassy and Chic has one that they sell, I think, or there's one that's a Dollar Tree brand. But since this wasn't, I thought maybe this would be sturdier. Second thing I want to tell you that I just recently learned. A story time. This is an important story time, by the way. My mom had a co-worker pass away. And it was of the craziest thing. She had an ingrown hair inside her nostril. Inside. And she kept picking it. 
and picking it and picking it because it was driving her insane. You know, whenever your nose is clogged, you know, you just try to, you know, it bothers, right? She kept picking it. Well, she ended up dying from that ingrown hair. And I said, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. You got to be out of your mind. There must have been something else going on. This was years ago. This was not recent. This was years ago. But it always stuck in my mind. Now that I'm on TikTok and I even sent it to my girls, apparently this is what this part is it from here here? I think it's or is the that. mouth too? No, it's no, here, it's right? There, uh, the triangle. So this right here is called the triangle of death. Something like that. Something to that effect. Triangle of death. If you pick at anything within this zone, if I can find it on TikTok, I'll try to share it. But I don't even know how to share TikTok here. If you pick anything within this area. For whatever reason, if it gets infected, it can travel through your bloodstream and kill you. Like, it's the death zone, the death trap zone, whatever. And you don't know how many times I've found pimples and I'll pick it and scrape it. And also, when you mess with stuff, especially around the nose area that involves ingrown hairs, you can actually pass it to your fingers you can get like a skin infection on your fingers from touching it. That's crazy. So I just wanted to warn anybody that's picking in this area, don't. Because it's a death zone and you can die from it. And I know for a fact, my mom had a coworker that died from just that thing, from picking that ingrown hair in her nose. Just a little FYI for you all. Also in beauty, I hauled, purchased, showed you guys, the Vaseline Lip Therapy in the Rosy Lips. Ooh. I don't remember which video it was, but regardless. Now I found the Vaseline. Here is the Rosy Lips. Here is the Aloe Vera. Here is the Original. And here is your Fresh Mint. So got those for the Easter baskets. Each one's going to get a Vaseline. Then I found these for the little one. There's these cute little barrettes, one in pink, one in blue. And then they also had the ponytail holders to match, pink and blue. Hold on, who wanted it? Who wanted it, pink and blue? So stinking cute, the little flowers are very delicate. That's what I liked about them. So there's that. Then, they must have had a closeout somewhere on Texas Rangers items. I don't know. My son-in-law is a Houston Astros fan. We try to root for all Texas teams, though. That's just something that we do. I don't know if it's a Texas thing, if it's an every state thing. We definitely, that's a Texas thing, though. We try to support all Texas teams, whether it's the Houston Oilers that are no longer around, the Texans, the Houston Texans, the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Mavericks, the Dallas Knights, whatever. Texas Rangers. So, let me show you what they had from the Texas Rangers collection. They have the necklace that has the T with the red, white, and blue hearts, like the shapes of them. They had the Texas Rangers earrings, but it's the sugar skull. Can you see that it's a sugar skull with the T? I know the glare. Then they had these that match the necklace, the earrings with the T and the tricolor heart. Then for the guys out there, they have this real, or even gals, to be honest with you, they have this beautiful keychain. It's very heavy. It says Texas Rangers, Major League Baseball. It's a keychain. Then they have this keychain that has the carabiner and then your loop for the keys that's just got T. It stands for Texas Rangers, but hey, if your name is Todd, this will work for you as well. So there's that. Then also, Texas Rangers, they had this keychain, which I like this. I like this one a lot. Um, and it's all genuine merchandise from the Texas Rangers. So they have this one with like the satin holder that says Texas Rangers. And then it's got your, what are these called? Hook clip? I don't know what kind of clip this is. It's, a hook there's, yeah, it's a hook clip. So there's that. Then there's another keychain, Texas Rangers. I think it's the Sugar Skull one. Let me see. 
So if there's just a fan of the sugar skulls, oh, that's look how pretty that is. And it's, I mean, it's Someone nice. In the family will love that. Yeah. So Texas Rangers sugar skull keychain. And at this store, they had tons of these items. No, honestly, nobody was even paying attention to them. I think it's because it was mixed in with like garden stuff and maybe nobody saw that they were there. So I was able to pick up one of each item real easy. Playing cards, it doesn't matter what's on the back of a pack of playing cards. Everybody likes playing cards, so it's a Texas Ranger deck of playing cards. Someone in the family travels with a random number, though. Really? Mm -hmm. Then I got... Uh, who opened these? This is a Texas Rangers click pins, and can I tell you something? This clearly says five pack, and there's four. Wow. Someone and it was open. Out. So somebody actually stole one out of them. Wow. Hungry. And they had tons of them too. I didn't even look. I just grabbed it. I didn't see that it said five pack and then I only got four. That's what happened. Probably one of the workers, to be honest with you. You know how they're always looking for pins? I bet you anything they opened it to get a pin out of it. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. <sighs> Fuckers. That, that angers me. Yes, I said it on camera. Sorry. I used the F word. Um, I'm going to exchange mine for a five pack. Yes, mother. Get back and get it. Get you your pen. Right? Because that's... They're, who wanted them? I already lost one. They're cheating me. That makes me angry. I should have checked that better myself, though. So there's that. Let's move into Easter items. It's not a lot... Like, it's not Easter decor. Well, yeah, there's a couple pieces. But I need for you to stand up, Wildfire. I got the double bubble egg shaped bubble gums. These are going in Easter baskets. I got the Easter candy. These are ducks, chicks, and bunnies. Ducks, chicks, bunnies. Oh my. We open these and each one gets a box of it. Then we also got the Smarties Happy Easter candies. You get four boxes. And each person gets one of those. Then I got this for the grandson and this for the young, the older boy in my life. This has the candy inside. This is the Paw Patrol. And then this is the Mickey or the Disney candy inside. So this there and rye. Rye bread. Wheat bread. Oh, I did get one other item for the Easter baskets, but these are for the girls, girls only, and the adult girls, girls only. These things are, they could hurt somebody. I don't think they could be used as a weapon because all you could do is hurt them. You would not injure them enough to run. But these are like solid. And these are just these cute little pins. And they had it solid as a rock. They had pink. They had blue. This little strawberry wearing sunglasses. So stinking cute. So this is going in Easter baskets. Then for Easter decor. Oh, these need to go in the baskets. Whoever, whosoever flavor you think is who. I finally found the gnome Easter things that are like sorely lacking on the fillings. And I saw that y'all found some really cute ones during Valentine's that even had the girls. I didn't find any of them. And if there is a girl gnome for the Easter, I didn't find that either. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below if there is a girl Easter gnome. I personally just, the store only had these two. That's all that was left, these two. I was glad to at least find these two. So there are those Easter decor. Also, I found these tall little bunnies. A blue and a pink. Overalls and a dress. They have the twine on top to hang them from, but if you don't want to hang them, you can put like a kickstand on the back of them maybe, and they'll stand. I don't know. They're super tall though, look. Like, super tall. So there are those if you're interested. Then, in the way of Easter decor, they have these little pels, the metal pels. These are way cuter than the ones that I got in the last Dollar Tree haul. 
This first one says egg hunt and it's the gnome and it says happy Easter. They're the galvanized pels. So it's got the little gnome, says happy Easter, egg hunt, prints on both sides. Next one is the truck that says happy Easter, join the egg hunt. Next up we've got the pink truck with the carrots on the back. So cute. And then the last one is the bunny rabbit with the eggs and it says Cottontail Farms Open Daily Carrots, Chocolates, Eggs. So stinking cute, but on, on this galvanized metal, it's hard to see them, right? Like you have to really get up on them to be able to see the print. It kind of gets lost in the galvanized metal, but they are so stinking cute. So there are those. Then I got these for the girls for their Easter baskets as well. These are like the old fashioned motel keys. Remember when they used to back in the day actually give you a key to the doorknob and they would have the plastic keychain with the room number on it. They're kind of bringing that retro stuff back. This first one is the future is female and it's pink plastic keychain. The next one is live in the dream and it looks like this. Next up is Take It Easy. Take It Easy. Looks like that. And the last one is Good Vibes Only. So those are the four that I found at my Dollar Tree. They were in the cutesy aisle. Cutesy aisles where they have like the cute pins and the stickers and all the stuff like this. So there's all of those as well. And then I'm going to share with you the stuff that I found from Dollar Tree, but from the Dollar Plus section of Dollar Tree. So, they have these balls. This first one is shaped or formed like a llama. And they're actual balls, right? Not bouncy balls. They're just kind of balls that you can throw around. They're calling these furry friends. Collect them all. They were $5 a piece. And we got four Easter baskets. They're so cute. There's this one. Then there's this one that's going to go to my grandson because he loves dogs. And this kind of looks like Everest. Is that her name? Everest? Yeah. From, from Paw, Paw Patrol. Patrol. So we got him that one. This one is for my granddaughter. And then we picked up these two as well. This little chick. And it's got the little feathers. And then the unicorn. $5 each, okay, for these. And again, they're called Furry furry Friends with a Z at the end. Furry Friends. I don't know if these were made specifically for Dollar Tree or if this is something that is name brand that just ended up at Dollar Tree. Who wanted it? I wouldn't even be able to tell you. So maybe this can sit on top of his bucket once we've got it filled. And then the last thing that I picked up from Dollar Tree from the Dollar Plus section is this wood. It almost looks like palette. Right from this side, it almost looks like palette. But it is the American flag. I thought this was so beautiful. And I actually sent something similar to this to a friend of mine, one of my very good friends that lives in Pennsylvania. Um, I sent her something similar to this. Uh, that I had found at a thrift store. So this is Americana Palette Flag. That's the name that they're calling. Americana Palette Flag. $5. And that is it, you all. That is all for this Dollar Tree slash Dollar Plus section video purchases buys. Let me know what your favorite item was. Let me know what you're finding at your local Dollar Tree.